All right, I'm doing it. I'm uploading it. The deck's finished enough. Let's go. It could use a couple cards tweaked in a balance, and I might kick out Yaris. Yes, they actually named a card Yaris. All right, Mystery Boy versus Mystery Boy. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Mm, I mean, it's out of my deck, but it's five. This I need. I've got the three to get there. I've got Hydra. I've got a one drop. I've got Ramp. Opponent's going first because... I'm not allowed to go first on Arena. Last time I tracked 1,000 games, I went first 22% of the time. Uh, with my strongest deck, it was 18%. This, I bet, is down to zero. I bet I'm literally not allowed to go first with this. I, I actually tracked it today. I have gone first zero times out of 12 with this deck. So anyway, <laughs> Arena's rigged. Not news. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> this, is a, this is a crime. I should be arrested for building and playing this. Oh, I thought the guy had a funny username and I just read it wrong. Now it's just stupid. All right, anyway. <laughs> oh, it's this basic. All right. I already won. All right, here we go. Wizards went uh, overboard with elves again. Somebody there has some kind of unhealthy fetish or something. Whatever. You know, you do you. I'm, I'm just going to take them and run them over until they ban it. You know, like you do. People are like, what do you build a broken... Okay, I won't build mill. I have standards, but, like, if elves win, I'm here for the win. I don't know this person. They ain't my friend. I ain't your buddy, bro, and you're not my man, guy. So I'm just going to sit here and run people over with elves until they ban it. I'm pretty sure I just said that. Let's go. One more turn. If I can survive one more turn, I win. Period. The end. So here we go. All right. Well, I'm still at 17. This looks pretty good. <laughs> He's not running board wipe colors. I'll tell you, this can come back from a board wipe. It's not that hard. It, it doesn't even have a draw engine either, which is weird. I cut out Colossal. I cut out In Search of Greatness. This is all elves all day because elves are freaking racist xenophobic assholes. So they're, they, if it's not an elf, it's gone. Innkeeper, gone. Halfling, shoddy, bye-bye. You're too short. Elves are tall. Get out of here. All right. I'll take the hit. I don't care. I need all this in play, unfortunately. I don't really need need this, but... Uh, last time I played against this deck, I couldn't even figure out what it did because I beat it so quickly. <laughs> How do I want to do this? How do I want to play this? Uh... Three, four, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. Elvises. And Canopy. I don't quite need this yet. I don't need him forfeiting until next turn. Oh, I could. I should. I both could and should. He ain't swinging into this. Screw it. I don't even know what this thing does. It's not even worth my time mousing over it and reading it. I've already won. All right. Let's go! Five cards in hand. Do I look scared? Am I shaking? Bitch don't even got a pet. Don't even got sleeves. What a broke ass. All right. <laughs> Peasant shaming. Yeah, blow him up. I don't care. Blizzard brawl. Let's go. It's not even running snowlands. I honestly, I don't know what this deck does. It's something about wolves and, and this asshole. I don't know. It's probably a combo deck. It's probably glass cannon. That looks like it ramps into something. I can't figure it out. Whatever it is, I don't think I've ever seen it go off. So... Very educational gameplay here. This this person's trying to calculate how screwed there, but we're about to see a forfeit. We're about to see a forfeit when this comes into play, and if they're too dumb to forfeit when they see it on offense. Oh, okay. He could blow it up. Okay. Respect. I don't need it to win. <laughs> the two strongest cards in the deck haven't even shown up. <sighs> but yeah, it, if, if he figures out, really... <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, he's going to be so bad. Anyway, if he figures out that this works on his turn, too, that's it. That That's when the forfeit button is there, okay? They need a little a little thing here that says forfeit button is on the right. Why I don't have arrows and they deleted my use of the other emojis, I don't know. Probably because I've been, in their opinion, misusing them. My guess would be Arena just broke. It really could be either. It's a bit of a grab bag with them. You never know what you get. Um... I'll just take the eight. The, the guy's dead. I mean, I think I could swing for 20 with this, so he's screwed. All right. Yeah. Oh, he thinks he's one, huh? 20 to two. Oh, my poor elf deck can't do anything. Didn't need that. All right. Here we go. You know what? I don't think. Let's see. It's 12. No, that's it. That's lethal. That's a shame. 
That's what you get for playing like an idiot. I would have typed it, or typed it. I would have sent serves you right for rushing ahead, but they deleted it. Okay, let's play another game, hopefully with a faster player, because that was agonizing. What do you think, guys? Am I going to go first this time? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I would just love to crush whoever's running this. It's it's like it's kind of like blue hair. If you see somebody with blue hair, you know what they're about. You 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 know you know what they're saying. Oh look, my opponent goes first. I wonder why that is. Must be time travel involved. It must be his time powers. Anyway, this this is how assholes mark themselves right here. This is gonna be a Valkyrie deck. There you go. Look at that. I'm psychic. Call me now for your free reading. Oh shit! It's a cleric and Valkyrie deck. Who would have thought? All right. Yes, yeah, so I revised it the last second. Kiss my ass. Oh, there we go. I've already won. Cool. Um. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's almost like that bypasses um, um, a, a summoning sickness. That's so weird that that works that way. So turn. I don't know two. I've got four elves in play, and access to it's gonna be five mana on turn three. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Oh, you asshole. You asshole. Well, anyway, <laughs> these are the two most powerful cards in my deck, so, um, oh, I could. I, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't know this one. Who cares? Piss off. All right, there we go. Did they really have to ask? <laughs> they both do the... Ah! Okay, well, swing at me. I will block. If he brings Brutal, I will block. Hi. Wow, he got powered up by doing nothing. What a great, fair, fun tactic. Um, let's see. I mean, I don't need this out. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I need a, a top of my library card. Where the hell are those at, right? Like, pfft. I got a boosty boy. This is going to hold him off for about six turns. I mean, look at this. What turn even is it? Is it like three or is it four? I'm not even counting. I assume he's got four lands, I got three. It's probably turn three. Does this look like turn three to you? Are we playing modern? What the hell is even going on here? Why did they let me do this? Wizards, what is wrong with you? Y'all some sick, sick little monkeys. A few moments later. Oh, wow, okay. Got lucky on the draw there. I mean, it's in my hand, like whatever, but. Oh no, oh no. All right, I'm not going to waste your time. The asshole board wiped me, and then I beat him like 30 minutes later because he was a slow-playing butthurt little douche. So uh, no sense including that full gameplay, but uh, let's jump into one more. Should be interesting. Kind of hilarious that I'm getting this insane of games right in a row. Like, literally, I am recording these completely in a row, and this file is going to be huge. What is with the usernames today? I wish you guys could see this. Anyway, hopefully he's not a butthurt little bitch like the last one. Um, yeah, this is, this is pretty much the dream team. Holy tits, I'm going first. What happened? Something broke. Somebody, somebody sent in a support request. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. This is unexpected behavior. <laughs> I should just save this till I have five. It just goes and fetches something, except I already have the top deck summoners. Oh, wait. No, what? One of them. <laughs> I forget which is which. They're all elves to me. I don't give a shit. There it is. Wait. No, it's the same one. Um, yeah, I'll do this one first, because then this one grants me ability, that'll grant me three mana, and, uh, you know what? Bye. Wait, is this an elf? Oh. The hell don't I run that? Oh, because I run a better one that costs one, and they're an idiot. Okay. Oh, this is, this might be true elves. This might be elf tribal versus elf tribal, because black is another elf tribal card. And then Toski. I thought about it, I'll be honest with you, I thought about it, but uh, not in this version. It's in the other version of the deck. I keep referencing that. I don't know if I cut that out. Um, I mean, this would be hilarious, but I just want to, I want to take a peek. I want to see what's going on here. Okay, well, that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> this will be fun too. Let's see. Uh, four mana, eight mana, 12 mana. Yeah, that ought to do it. That ought to do it. So it's turn four and he's already lost. I mean, God help you if I go first. Honestly, as pissed off as I am that Arena is rigged and that the go first system is completely rigged, proven. Uh, like I said, I tracked a thousand games. It's rigged. Um, I don't think I should be allowed to go first with this deck. I mean, I shouldn't be able to, I, I, I shouldn't be allowed to play it in the first place. So it's like, well, chicken or the egg. But uh, 
Oh, this asshole. What does he do again? He got to kill him like twice. I'm not reading. Look at this. Do they think I'm going to read all this bullshit? I'm not going to read that. I'm just going to see what happens. I am sick of reading all these damn cards. Let me guess. You're not going to spend it on anything. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Oh, and he gave me he gave me a card. <laughs> Idiot. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we need? Let's do this. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and max this out before I tap him. A two cost. He's a fakey boy, but you know <laughs> it works. <laughs> Damn it! No. Okay, I gotta get that out of the way. I gotta get that out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I should run more of these, but they're shit. It's a shit card. Um. There we go. <laughs> All right. I had to hit one eventually. All right. Well. Funny thing is, I can update it immediately. Upgrade it, pardon me. I'm not I'm not installing Vista on it. Alright, there we go. Uh-oh, somebody's a 5-4. Oh. If you saw this, if it's turn five and you saw this, what would you do? Would you actually keep playing? This guy's out of his damn mind. He doesn't even have the mana for blood on the ice. Ooh, somebody's running a spice monkey deck too. Okay. Okay. We could have a little spice monkey fight. I think that's still within uh within YouTube's guidelines. <laughs> Monkey fight, tune in at 11. All right, here we go. Oh, look, another elf. Oh, look, another elf. Sort of. Oh, look, another elf. Oh, look, it's a really good elf. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, Lair of the Hydra. That's not quite an elf. It's close. Right, let's just do that. There we go. I don't know. What am I even tapping? Who gives a shit? Oh. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those, was it? Oh, I'd leave. I would have left three years ago. What are you even doing still playing this? So you guys get the gist of it. Let's show off the deck. God, this is a crime. <laughs> so, okay, I want to show this first. So you can see the evolution of it. It was Eat Your Greens, then Eat Your Greens Elf Edition, and then no, seriously, all elves. Because I got really sick of hitting non-elves. Um, and I actually have a way to do lands too. I just don't commonly get it out. Because one of the land enablers is not an elf, and it turns out you actually get less of a benefit that way. And then I just threw in Little Miss 3-2 Roadblock 4 cost draw a card. You know, get get the roadblock out of the way. So I guess the opposite of roadblock. But um, I could run four hydras. I thought about it. You know, whatever. Comes in tapped like past turn two. So I was like, whatever, get rid of it. But uh, yeah, there's actually not that many elves. So I actually had trouble getting this to, I was going to say 60. Apparently it's sitting at 61 for some reason. Apparently I need to make up my damn mind. I only have one of these. Oh yeah, like I said, this isn't like 100% done. I was going to get rid of one of these and leave it at one. But I thought, well... No, I mean, come on. Like, you, if you pull this, or even wait a turn, like, you lose a turn casting, like, 67 elves in a row, but this is there, you're going to do more damage. I mean, it's like, if you have five elves in play, summon five more elves, you basically just did what this card did, sort of. Like, at least from an attack power standpoint, and a defense standpoint. So I'd actually rather have this, because it doubles everything, because Mark Rosewater is on crack. So, um, all right, we got Jesper Ascent Sentinel. It's a one, two for one with reach. So, I mean, there's that. I mean, a lot of things fly right now. The whole Dragon Angel thing, it's not quite what it used to be. I think people kind of got sick of it in the old queue. I don't know. I'd like to say it's not good enough anymore, but, I mean, really? Like, really? Uh, then we got, you know, Death Touch, Elf, one, one for one. Love it. Gotta have this. The deck almost wouldn't function without this because of uh, Red Goblin Rush. Uh, then we got Elvish Warmaster, the most broken shit ever. Should have been legendary. And then on top of being legendary, they should have never um, printed it. So, also they should have banned it. It's, it's layers. Every time you cast an elf, you get an elf, and then you can pay seven and boost them, and there's no limit to the amount of times you have to do it because they didn't make them tap. So, not legendary. Cost too little. Unlimited triggers. And they didn't make him tap for the second ability. That's four mistakes. And he hasn't been banned yet. My God. Um, then we got Guardian Glade Walker. Just, he's just there. I mean, he puts a counter on something so that I can defend. He makes the reach person bigger. He just buys time. He just takes whatever's the biggest, like a bloodline or this or whatever, makes it bigger to buy me some time. And then he's another elf. So... I might cut him, but it, it just, oh, it just seems, I, I wouldn't put him to two, but like, he's so good. It doesn't seem like it, but he really is. I, I need big creatures because otherwise, you know, if, if they get out of Vorinclex or something, I'm in trouble. Um, I need Vorinclex to turn. So this, I only have two because it's not an elf. You got to really watch those non-elves and I don't mean shapeshifters. They don't count. Um, but like you, you, you pay 
you know, two, then two, then four, so eight total, and I can cast any creature from the top of my, my library. So that's what this whole deck does, in case you didn't notice. Um, and this is a lot, I was going to say more untouchable. Is it less touchable? I don't know. More untouchable. We'll go with that. Than just some creatures sitting in there doing it. So, you know, yeah, I ran two of them. I, I, I really want to run three, but this card just won't stop coming up. And it also pretty much is a creature. That's what pisses me off. You get a wolf out of it. Ah. Anyway, um, Tijiro Paragon. She just goes to get another elf. Basically, I mean, it's it has to be a cleric, rogue, warrior, or wizard. Which, I mean, it is. Oh, or elf. I forgot about that. It, it's it's or elf. So ignore everything I just said. Um, Woodland Mystic. I mean, it's just you know, it's a mana dork. Um, I I almost want to run three. Because if anything, it's a lightning rod and I'm going to come back. And if they burn a removal, that's fine. Otherwise, I just speed forward. And it's another two-drop elf that I can just punish them with. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Good luck building this at FNM. It's an A card. I don't think it's even legal. I don't think this card even exists. Uh, Boreal Outrider, this one's controversial. That's the one I was thinking about pulling. Because I converted the whole deck to, to snow just for this one card. So I just all my elves can enter with a 1-1 counter. So... I don't think this has even come up in a game yet, believe it or not. I don't think I've actually pulled this. But uh, it's a 3-2 elf for three. I mean, okay. You know, it's a snow permanent. Okay. You know, whatever. Uh, then we got Circle of Dreams Druid. This this thing is disgusting. I mean, why? Why does this exist? It's a 2-1 for three and a strong wind will blow it over. But in the meantime, it's going to tap for like 37 mana. It's just, it's disgusting. Then we got Realm Walker. Uh, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. Um, you choose a creature type elf and then you may cast elves from the top of your library. So, yeah. Then we got uh, Yaris, which is uh, a really shitty car. Oh, no, it's Varus. It is Varus. I've been reading it wrong the whole time. Well, I take it back. So 3-3 three, three, elf for three with reach. That's huge. I mean, all of that. Elf, reach, three costs, all that. All that. Ward one, that's huge. Um, I, oh, I was thinking about, you know, putting one more of this in and cutting uh, Boreal. Because I'm like, well, that's a more valuable card. But Boreal, eh, maybe. I mean, early game, she's more valuable. Late game, he's more valuable. So I don't know. Hard to say. But uh, whenever you cast a creature, Planeswalker spell at all, venture into the dungeon. So I didn't study all three dungeons too much, which it says one out of four. There's four dungeons now? Is that... What happened there? Is that a thing? What the hell? Okay, anyway. Um, I'm sure I'll get, you know, gain one life, draw a card, scry, whatever, create a thing, create a 4-4, four, four, punish them. I, you know, this, you can do stuff. I, I'm just like, whatever. Okay, it's kind of neat. And then whatever you complete a dungeon, create a 2-2 two, two wolf, so that's kind of cool. So it's like, it only triggers once, but it's like, it, it's reach, it does a thing, I get a thing, I gain a life, I scry a card, eh, I might get a treasure. It's just, it's kind of utility, it's it's not like the strongest synergy ever, but like, to just passively sit there and get this while I'm also doing other things, you know, let's go. Bloodline Pretender, it's just an elf that grows bigger. I mean, every time an elf comes into play, it gets a counter. There you go. Uh, Canopy Tactician. So, okay, I will say, the reason I'm not running four when it looks pretty good is because it starts at 2-2, two, two, and I don't like that. Uh, and then if I'm dropping in, like, like three elves, I'm going to win anyway. I'll, I almost should just cut this from my deck. <laughs> Plus, it's an artifact when somebody blew it up once. Uh, but then we got Canopy Tactician. Taps for three mana for some reason, and all elves get plus one, plus one for some reason. I guess they thought that was a good idea. Also not legendary. All right, Jiraga Visionary. It's a very overcosted garbage elf, but I mean, ETB draw a card. Can't really pass it up, but I mean, the deck's already running, what did I say, 37, 38% land. I don't need more four costs jamming it up. In fact, the three costs are bad enough. So we got a grand total of five of them and then two of these. That's it. So that that is everything above three. I just get to three and win the game. And then you've got all the mana dork assistance and all that. You could probably honestly just cut a land. There you go. There I did. I did. 22 lands. The problem is you actually, in a 60-card deck, need 24 lands to round up to three. So that's why you keep seeing me start the game with two. Or, well, I don't know about this gameplay, but if I'm not mistaken, it will resort to or prioritize an opening hand with two lands if you're under 24 but over 21. And once you hit 24, it'll start prioritizing uh, three land keeps. So, but I mean, three turns, one third of my deck is land. I'm going to pull the third land. And if I don't, like, whatever, I've got some stall cards and some mana dorks and 
you know, this, like whatever. You know, it's not the end of the world. In fact, I really should just throw one of these in and cut a land. In fact, I'm going to do it. There we go. But now I'm at 21. I wouldn't go any lower. I might still kind of work on the numbers, you know, but this is it. So listen in the description. What more is there to say? Go cause havoc with it. I'll see you guys next time.